My name is Hua. I'm the lead instructor today. And you are the very first one in the world to take the test ride our WinFast VF8. This is the WinFast Premium electric cars with powerful engine, all wheel drive, and integrated with many smart features. We have our engineers, Mr. Sanjay and Mr. Tiago. While you're waiting for your turn, you can also ask him a lot of questions about technical issues related to the VinFast vehicles. And you can also take a look at our VF8 and VF9 SUV here. Thank you. So, my name is Sanjay. Uh, I have my colleague here, Tiago, uh, in purple shirt. So this is our very first VF8 car which we launched in uh, Vietnam market already and now we are launching into US and as well as well globally I would say in Europe. This is a pre-production car what you're looking at uh, so it has gone through a lot of abuse. It comes with 21 inch uh, wheel. There are two models Eco and Plus. Uh, Eco does not have sunroof, uh, Plus has sunroof. Eco does not have ambient light, uh, Plus has ambient light. Eco does not have leather seat, uh, Plus has leather seat. Al although it looks like leather seat in Eco, but it's leathery. I don't know if you have seen, there is a small little frunk uh, in the front. Uh, not much space, but yeah, you know, ladies can put their purse and some groceries. Both cars, both you, models, Eco uh, and Plus, about, uh, about they are four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, dual motor very standard uh, for entire fleet uh, dual motor is very standard and uh, battery is same uh, you get about 400 mile uh, 400 kilometers uh, you know per charge there are there are three types of charger uh, uh, level one charger uh, which comes free with the car um, that is only for emergency I would not recommend you um, daily charging with the level one charger because that takes a lot of time all it is is just plug into any wall outlet and start charging your car it will give you two three miles within maybe uh, two hours uh, but that's pretty much it that's the extent of it uh, but that's for emergency like I said yes level two charger is the charger that people use uh, they put it in their garage and when you when you hook up a level two charger it takes good uh, about uh, uh, nine to eleven hours uh, depending you know uh, your zero percent or your ten percent uh, from ten percent to let's say eighty percent is gonna charge within nine to ten hours and then you have level 3 charger which is DC fast charger um, so if you are going for a long trip obviously you cannot wait 9-10 hours so you hook up to those commercial DC fast charger uh, from 10 to 70 percent within 25 or 23 minutes you can get uh, 10 to 70 percent charge enough charge for you to uh, get going uh, so yeah those are the three types of charger which are available commercially uh, you can buy off the shelf or uh, or you can just go to some commercial charging stations and charge it. Uh, what we have done for European market, uh, in Europe, they don't have luxury like United States, a big houses, they have garage door uh, and you can park your car in garage, you can install the charger in the garage, hook it up, no problem. But in Europe, people live in apartments, so what do you do? People go and charge uh, uh, on DC fast charger uh, by parking their car closer to those commercially available charging stations so every time you go to different charging station they are maintained by mom and pop uh, they have different companies you have to swipe the card so what we have done is uh, we have provided plug and charge capability which is very popular in your nothing uh, nothing unusual but this is something that's how the industry is going where uh, you do you you basically keep your profile with us and we share it with all the commercial stations so that you don't have to worry about swiping or creating an account with each and every provider you hook up the charging station and then and, and the charging station and our car starts talking to each other and they recognize who you are and they already have your credit card in the file and you start charging you don't have to uh, you know swipe the credit card again and again so yeah that, that's that's the charging when it comes to the connectivity this car is fully connected uh, you have companion app full of features so what we have tried to do is what we are very proud of, at least my team is very proud of is um, take all these features and and make it voice recognition you know so from voice you can practically do anything what you want to do with the car uh, something very simple like uh, open up the sunroof uh, open up uh, I can show you it will open uh, open up the sunroof I say hey Vinfast open the sunroof yeah 
and uh, <coughs> if if you if you need to uh, close all the windows hey win fast close all the windows Uh, so yeah i mean a uh, lot of functionality like you want to navigate to some place you, you want to find pharmacies you want to find uh, mm, hospitals you want to find coffee houses uh, you can practically say hey when fast find all the coffee houses close by it will list all the coffee houses and uh, you can navigate uh, you can set the temperature down you can set the temperature up let me let me try to show you hey when fast i am hot so turn the temperature down temperature down hey been fast do i need an umbrella in ohio it is most likely not raining in columbus ohio currently yeah. the temperature is 70 degrees fahrenheit with almost no wind hey been fast close the sunroof hey been fast what do you think about tesla it is an amazing SUV for families. Okay, it's very fair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fast. Find pharmacies close by. I found these. Which do you want? Number three. Okay, this is NHA Grave Buck Ho Yen GC Yondi with stroke NG Ta HIU in NHA Trang, Vietnam. Want to go there? Yes, please. Starting navigation. So yeah, you can you can navigate. You can ask to turn the ambient light on. You can ask ambient light blue. Uh, you can find charging stations. You can reserve charging stations. Uh, all by voice. There are different modes for the car. Uh, pet mode. So especially uh, you know if you want to leave your pet inside and you want to walk out and get some grocery, uh, then uh, it will maintain a moderate temperature for your pet to be comfortable wash mode is very interesting for me because when i bought my tesla i remember the first time i went for car wash i did not even know how to put tesla in no, uh, in neutral so this wash mode mode comes very handy you turn it on and is gonna close all the windows is gonna stop the wiper if they're already running is gonna close the sunroof is gonna lock the car is gonna unfold the mirror and put the car in neutral so that you're ready so in one shot you know you're ready for wash uh, camp mode if you want to camp out in some wooded area uh, basically uh, oh, i'll explain you that also <laughs> uh, uh, so what what you just did is you put the car in uh, in uh, valley mode what valley mode does is uh, if you want to leave your car keys with the valley guy and uh, and you want to you know go to a restaurant for a nice dinner uh, what it does is it keeps it, it puts the car in such a state that the valet guy cannot do anything with the car he cannot he cannot figure out where you have been uh, he would not have access to your uh, contact list he would not have access to emails he cannot drive the car beyond 0.75 miles or one mile radius whatever we have put in there as a default he cannot drive the car more than certain speed which you have set for valley guy so a lot of restriction for valley guy so that your car is safe and sound you know that he did not take your car for a joyride <laughs> so that's what valley mode is all about so i'm gonna switch uh, the valley to my profile uh, so if you notice that it's asking me the pin number and you would wonder what is this all about well your car may be driven by several people in the family your wife uh, your kids and they all may have different preferences for seats for mirror position for am fm radio um, and uh, you know their addresses they have for friends uh, music stations all those things are stored for each and every guest in your in your family and when you're switching you cannot just switch it you basically have to have a pin number so there are security reason also so you cannot necessarily see other family member where he had been or where he had and you know uh, how far he has gone or uh, all the search history or all the contact list all those things are blocked uh, but those things are 
made much more easier by having a camera here if you notice there is a camera so this camera does the facial recognition and it knows who you are so when i go uh, when i sit in the car camera knows that this is sanjay and is going to go and switch the profile automatically so i don't have to enter the pin number